So what's up you beautiful beautiful people hope you're all doing well hope you're all doing great it's that great time of the year again GPUs are finally getting back to its normal prices uh, we finally saw the budget oriented you know Intel motherboards the calculate series have never been better so today we're doing a $600 gaming PC that's capable of playing the latest and greatest AAA games I'm proud of this PC like it provides really great price per performance let's try to do this video in one cut one take so without wasting any more time let's get to the ports First up, we're looking at the Intel Core i3-8100. Now, this CPU is clocked at 3.6 GHz. It's a lock CPU. It's a quad-core CPU. Can be boosted all the way up to 4.0 GHz. It gets the job done. It's great as video editing, gaming. You're not going to have a good time with streaming, of course, because it's a quad-core CPU. But for $113, you get a great CPU. When you compare it to the Ryzen 1200 CPU or the Ryzen 1300X, this one takes the cake for me. And it's never been looking any better, you know, because with the board we're pairing it with a gigabyte b360 m board this is a great board for 70 dollars actually it has four dim slots it has a crossfire support i don't think that you know sli and dual gpu you know setup are still a thing these days but anyway it's still there and it has a really great features like intel optane and 7.1 stereo speakers and something like that it's really good technology but for 70 dollars you can go for the h310 if you want to save some money you know get it for around like 50 to 60 dollars but i like this one a lot it looks like the best board you can pair it with the i3-8100 or any you know Catholic CPU in general the Pen MG5400 I don't see anywhere yet so if you want to get it like a budget oriented gaming PC you can pair with the Pen MG5400 with a board that's cheap you know like an H310M but this one seems to be a good price per performance again you can get like an i5 over the i3 if you want more performance uh, in terms of CPU side you do you know we're gonna do some video editing or something CPU intensive now for the RAM we're looking at one stick of G-Skill Rip jaws 8 gigabyte ddr4 ram clocked at 2400 megahertz now this is for 78 dollars it's a great price for the ram you know i don't think the prices of ram will go down anytime soon so that's like okay 8 gigabytes is all that you need for gaming video editing maybe not heavy video editing but at least some light to medium you know video editing but 8 gigabytes is great you know it's all what you need for these type of things and you cannot go wrong with the price at all for the hard drive we'll look at a one terabyte wd blue hard drive from ebay whatever the condition of that hard drive is it's brand new you know for around 30 dollars you can get it from amazon if you want like a more reputable site but it doesn't really matter to me and you can get an optional 128 gigabyte ssd if you want to you know having a good boot drive is always a good thing right now i'm not adding it to the pc because it will set the budget to like 700 and i don't want that 600 dollars is a good price per performance in my opinion now for the gpu we're looking at the gigabyte gdx 1063 gigabyte model it's for 260 dollars i mean i've seen cheap GDX 1060 so keep your eyes open like you can get it for like $230 in my opinion but again you're gonna be playing games at 1080p 60 frames per second no problem 1080p 120 frames per second with settings set at low I mean this can be a good Fortnite gaming PC this PC is fully capable of playing Fortnite at medium and high settings and getting crazy frames per second but just get a good you know gaming monitor that's capable of you know bearing all this frame rate for the case we're looking at the brand new cooler master master box light 3.1 it's a micro ADX case it has all the bells and whistles you need for a budget cases for like $30 after mail-in rebates 40 before mail-in rebates it's a good case in my opinion I can't go wrong with it at all it has a side panel it has everything you need for a budget case and you're gonna have a good time with it a lot of people who bought it got gave positive ratings so it does look like a good case now for the power supply we're looking at the Corsair CX 450 watt power supply this uh, PC doesn't take a lot of wattage and it's gonna do fine and this uh, power supply would do what it's made for that's it for today's video guys if you like that video press the like, like button if you didn't like the video tell me why and leave your opinion down in the comments below whether you liked it or you don't plus i subscribe button share this video with your friend this pc is based on the newest you know h310 board or the newest budget intel boards and maybe you want to add like an i3 8300 since it's one of the newest you know catholic series cpus and there is a lot of other options that i will leave linked down in the description so yeah press on the subscribe button press on that like button i upload three videos daily hopefully i will upload that video that day thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one uh stay tuned for more videos and peace